everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. In today's video, I want to show you a different um, <clears throat> crayon box that I've done. So I've done the video on this one. This is the one with the layered apple and the belly band. And now I've done some with a, a window. And I wanted to show you how to put them together. They're basically the same thing, but um, I just thought you might want to see it. So the parts with this one is this is a crayon box that actually has a crayon on it, and it's a layered, and I've already gone ahead and glued it together so it's ready to go. You could do multiple of these if you wanted to, um, to decorate your box or whatever. This one also has a small frame, the belly band that is scalloped, you have a window and the box. So the window I just cut out of acetate and your machine will cut it out. If you're having a hard time getting it cut out, you could also um, just cut it cut a template out and then cut it with your scissors or on your paper trimmer. And I just order this off of Amazon. So to go ahead and assemble the box, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to turn all of the tabs down or the fold lines, excuse me, all of the fold lines down away from us. So we have this large tab. I have made this box with some really big tabs and that is so that it's extra sturdy if you wanna put some candy or treat in it or, um, you know, something that's a little bit heavier so the bottom doesn't fall out when you have these extra big tabs. Okay, so now once everything is folded and creased, we're going to put glue on all of the bottom tabs and the side tabs. We're not gonna put them on the top. And on these bigger tabs, if you're doing it with a tape runner, you might want two lines of tape. Okay, so once those are on now, we're gonna flip it over to, oh, I forgot to score a couple lines. <laughs> okay, so once that's done, we're going to flip it over and we're going to take our acetate and we're going to tape it to the inside of the box. Now acetate does not work very well with glue, so you will want a tape runner. Um, if you have the score tape or the red tacky tape, those are actually what I have found work the very best with your acetate. If you don't have acetate, you could use vellum. Um, the liners that line your your cutting mat when you when you get a new cutting mat, save those liners, you can cut them out and use that as windows. Lots and lots of options. Okay, so now we're gonna flip it over. Nope, we're gonna put it together. So I'm going to fold on this line right here and fold it in half. And then I'm going to fold this side over so that they match and get a good firm adhesion. And then fold those tabs in and fold that bottom into the bottom. And it's it's kind of sticky, but that's it's not because it doesn't fit. It's because I made it really tight and snug so that it won't fall out. Your candy or your treat or whatever it won't fall out. Okay. Now, now it's ready to decorate. So on this box, I remember I told you that you could use the thumbnail as either the front or the back of the box, and on this one we used it on the front. On these cards, it's actually in the back because we want to just decorate this front piece. That is still not sticking. Okay, I'll fix it. So next we're going to take our um, our band, and we're going to score it on those score lines. Put that on the score lines. But before we adhere it to our box, I want to go ahead and place my frame on the belly band. Okay, go ahead, 
And I want it down pretty firm because when I start bending this, I don't want that frame to pop up. I'm going to go ahead and just lay that on there. Whoops, let's uh, put tape on our tab right there. Go ahead and lay that right on there. Wrap it around. Bring it down here so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to put the tab down on that side and then bring that other side up to match it. Okay. So there is your box. And then you've got these little crayons that you can decorate it with. And I'm going to actually take some foam pop dots again. My favorite thing, you'll know. Go ahead and just lay that across there like that. Then fill it up with some candy, some treats, gift cards, just about anything you can think of. Put a tag on it if you want to. These are such a fun little idea for back to school, teacher appreciation, last day of school, birthday parties. There's so much that you could do with these little crayon boxes. And I have more for different holidays. So I hope you'll grab one, give it a try. Let me know how you think, what you think about them in, down in the comments. Please hit subscribe down below. Thank you for joining me and have a great day.